Hey guys, Andrew here. Uh, it's Wednesday, which means last night was um, Good Tuesdays here out in Sacramento, which is a get together of models and photographers. Okay, so I've got a set of photos from last night that are all very similar, and they were all taken in pretty much the same conditions. Um, my normal underexposed like crazy with an icon. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and I got the first photo here. I've got edited the way I want, and I've made some basic adjustments, but the main one is I've um, added some color tinting. I've got a master tint towards a little bit of orange, and then I've got a shadow blue and a highlight even more orange. Um, and I like the kind of pastel feel, um, blue and <laughs> teal and orange. Um, this has, so I want to. I don't want to have to do that manually for every one of these files. So the first way I'm going to show you how to copy and apply adjustments. Uh, I'm going to start using the menus. That's pretty simple, okay? So I'm going to select just my my source file, just the file that has the adjustments I want. And I'm going to go to Adjustments, Copy Adjustments on the menu. Then I'm going to select one or more files I want to apply it to. And I'm going to go Adjustments, Apply Adjustments. Now, Capture One pulls by default everything you've adjusted from the source image and applies it. And we'll see in a little bit how to control that. But for now, if you, unless you mess with something, it will just copy everything and apply it to the destination image. And you can see that this image, for example, needs less exposure and it needs some other, other um, adjustments. So for example, in this one, I would do a little highlight recovery and I'd drop my exposure back down a little bit so that she doesn't blow out um, the yellow channel on her forehead. Okay. So that's one way. Select your source image. Go to the menu, select Copy Adjustments, select your destination images, select Apply Adjustments. Okay. So here's another way. I'm going to select all the images, um, but my source image has the big heavy white box around it. And that heavy white box tells you it's the one you currently have selected for real. So if I go to Adjustments, I can do Copy again and I can do Apply again. But there's a copy and apply adjustments. And if I click on that, this dialog box pops up. And this dialog box is, will seem familiar to those of you coming from the um, Lightroom world because it's got check boxes for all the different adjustments you can, you can apply. So exposure, levels, color balance. And I haven't really done much else to these. So I'm going to uncheck levels and exposure. So now I'm just going to do color balance. I'll apply that. And you can see the color shift in these other images. And if I do an auto adjust, it'll auto adjust all of them. And then again, this image is going to need to have a little bit of work done to it just because the composition causes auto adjust to overexpose it. Now, if I reset this, rather than go to the menu, you can use the shortcut keys, which are Command Shift C or Control Shift C for Windows users. Select your main image, your source image, Command Shift C. Now I've put all the adjustments onto my adjustments clipboard. And I can then select one or more images. So I'm going to select four images and I can hit Command Shift V. Now, just like going to the menu and saying copy adjustments, apply adjustments, it does everything. So you can see this fourth image, still going to need to tweak my exposure there. Okay, let me reset those. Okay. So, so far we've been using just sort of, it copies whatever's adjusted, but how do we control that? Well, there's a couple ways. If I go to the um, adjustments tool tab, which is the little clipboard with a checkbox, and I look at my adjustment clipboard tool panel, it has a checkbox, a set of checkboxes for every single adjustment we can make. And I can go through and turn these on and off and that will determine what gets copied. So if I copy this, I'm going to turn off exposure and turn off levels and hit Command Shift C. And then I'm going to apply it. And you see the exposure and the levels didn't change. Only the color tinting changed. Likewise, I can turn levels and exposure back on. Hit Command Shift C. Select these. And you can see that it applied those exposure adjustments as well now. So this clipboard gives you a lot of power to control what exactly gets copied. Uh, I personally don't use it very much uh, because I either want to do individual tool panels, which I'll show you in a second, or I want to do everything. I want to make this image look exactly like the other image. Okay. Now, I will point out one other thing about the adjustment clipboard, which is handy to know, which is that if you click on the dot, dot, dot menu, 
and you can pick auto select and you can set adjusted, adjusted except composition, and none. Adjusted is anything you've made a change to. Adjusted except composition is anything you've made a change to except keystoning, rotation, crop. It won't adjust those because those are not... Unless you're shooting on a tripod in a building and your camera hasn't moved between shots, those are not things that generally translate from one image to another. Whether you use adjusted or adjusted and accept composition is up to you. Um, I just tend to leave it on adjusted because that's what I've gotten used to. Um, so it'll copy my rotation, for example, over, which sometimes I want and sometimes I don't. And this, the settings in this clipboard apply automatically to any of the ways you can do this. The shortcut keys, going up to this menu and doing a copy apply, all that. So now let's just say I want to copy only one tool panel. Right? So I could come and I could copy my exposure tool panel. And we can see this little arrow right here, double-ended arrow, is the adjustments clipboard for that panel. And by default, you can see the only thing checked are the things I've adjusted, exposure. Okay. So if I adjusted all four of these, but all I wanted to pull over was the saturation, I could do that pretty easily. I can say copy on that, and then I can select my other images, and I can use my shortcut key or my menu to apply it. Okay. Likewise, I could select all these images and have my heavy white box, which is my source image, on the one that I want, and I could hold down the shift key and click on the double-ended arrow. And that applies all the adjustments from that tool panel to everything else selected directly. Okay. So I don't really care about exposure in this case, but what I do care about is my color balance. That's really the main thing I want to do. So I'm going to select all of my images and make sure the heavy white box, my main image and my source image is the one that's got my settings on it. And then I'm going to come to the tool panel, the color balance tool panel, and I'm going to shift and click the double arrow. Okay. Now we can see the color is shifted on these the way I want. And then I can do a simple auto adjust. And it gets my exposure close-ish. It's not exactly where I wanted all these. All right, just a little bit of adjustment as we go through here. And I've got what I want. So there you go. Um, there's a, a bunch of different ways to do it. 90% of the time, I'm using the shortcut keys, Command-Shift-C, Command-Shift-V. Because that, or Control Shift C, Control Shift V, because that is what I would consider the normal thing to do, right? I, may, I edit one image in a set that are all the same, similar situation, and then I want to make them all look the same, okay? Uh, the individual panels are really useful for things like color adjustments, really detailed curve adjustments, where the only thing you want to pull over is that one detail. You could, of course, save a preset, but we aren't doing that. We're just going to copy the adjustments. We're not using it any other time. So... Hopefully that'll help you speed up your editing, uh, make you more efficient, keep you from redoing edits. Um, you know, it's really quick going through an event, for example, to, as you scroll through, you know, the first photo in the section a, in a sort of situation, adjust it, select all the other photos from that kind of sequence, and apply that setting to all those photos. Um, that's really a common way for me to edit. So anyways, until next time, y'all have a good day.